your girl Anita V, aka Young Show, aka back with another video, man. We head strong in vlogmas right now, man. I'm proud of myself. I cannot believe I've been going this hard this long. And you know I got to give it up for my people who watch the video, who like the video. So check this out, man. If this y'all first time coming across the channel, go ahead, subscribe if you ain't subscribed yet, man. We got lit content over here. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn the post notification bells on. So, man, look, we head strong in this, and I'm just trying to hit one goal. I'm trying to get, get your girl to 500 subscribers by the end of Vlogmas, man. I've been going in, so I just need y'all, the ones who watch the video, to go ahead, subscribe, share the video, and spread the love, spread the joy. You know what I'm saying? I got a goal, 500 subscribers. I'm not far from it. I'm like a hundred and something from it, so, man, that is the goal. Remember that, 500 subscribers. Share the video, like the video, let's get this thing pumping, man. I'm telling you, it's going up, man. I feel so good to be showing love. I'm getting them subscribers. I got love, man. I got love for y'all back. So, with all that being said, man, y'all can tell by the title, y'all can tell by the thumbnail that I'm going to try some sandwiches today. <laughs> you know, I really wasn't even really looking at no sandwiches, Popeyes, whatever, but I've seen one of my favorite YouTubers do it, and, you know... When I look at YouTube and I get inspired, you know, to get ideas and all that. And my favorite YouTuber, Get Little Mo, was doing a black and chicken sandwich from Popeyes. You feel me? So, that's what I'm be doing. You see, the day kind of gloomy. It's been rainy all day. It's all kind of foggy. Ain't no sun out. But that ain't stopping nothing. I'm not stopping. I ain't quitting. Can't stop. Won't stop. Never that. Can't stop. Won't stop. Never. You feel me? <laughs> For real. So, Check this out. We finna go get the sandwich and we about to get it in. Like the video, man. For real. We in this thing. I don't know what to call my people, but right now, all the free people that I got, man, I appreciate so much love and this vlogmas. So spread love, show love, and merry vlogmas. Let's go get the sandwich. All right, y'all. So now that I didn't got the Popeyes, I got the sandwich. It's a little dark out here, but y'all already know that it's a rainy day, but rain don't stop no show. So I went and got the spicy version of the blackened chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Now, y'all remember how crazy on Popeyes sandwiches were the first real. It ain't that much of a, you know, of a big deal as it was the first time. But I see some people trying it, you know what I'm saying? It's mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people don't, but I'ma see for myself with this chicken sandwich, you know. So I got the spicy. Once again, I got the spicy black and chicken sandwich. And it's like it's no bread. It just it got the black it's a no bread all flavor. This is it me? Did I, <laughs> why is it shaped like that? Like, why well, look like it got a Okay, it's it's all natural. I'm gonna say it like that. So it got the sauce and two pickles on it, you know, just like the regular one. Ain't nothing special, ain't nothing handy dandy, ain't nothing too standardish. But the chicken itself with the slit in it, like I don't I don't know. But I'm I'm <laughs> let me pray on this because I don't <sighs> this is food. Please do not let it be bad to my body. No harm, just healthy, and I hope it be good and worth the hype, Lord. Please don't let this have my stomach here and have me on the toilet for a long time. I just want it to taste like a sandwich, real chicken sandwich, because it got a slit in it, and I don't know what that is. So please let this be nourishing to my body. Amen. Because did y'all see that? Like, for real, did y'all see how this chicken breast is shaped in there? Like, it got a dip. It's like a... I pray on it. We're going to see what this is about. You know what I'm saying? I done seen a couple YouTubers do it. I done seen it. Let me stop lying. <laughs> I done seen a couple thumbnails. But I watched Moe's. Like, Moe's one of my favorite YouTubers, man. If y'all see it, man, y'all can tag Mo in it if y'all want to or whatnot. Because I think she did say tag um tag her name in it if you do the challenge um on her behalf. I mean, or the review or whatever. So, yeah. I've been watching Mo them. Since they used to be uh in the hotels and she had that baby fro <laughs> before she got them braids, man. I've been watching Mo since then, like since 2000, uh, I want to say 19. I want to say, yeah. So, yeah, let me get into this sandwich, man. Stop playing. Other than the dip in the bed, I mean, 
the dip in the bed <laughs> other than the dip in the sandwich in the chicken i hope it's good man let, let's just see because i talk too much just be quiet and bite the chicken thank you Mm-hmm. It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. It got a little kick to it. It got a little kick in the back and make you bop, bop your throat. Like a little bow in the back. But it ain't overpowering, you know what I'm saying? The chicken got the flavor. It ain't too salty. Ain't too overpowering. And the chicken do like chicken in the inside. It looks chickeny in the inside part. You know what I'm saying? Popeye's doing all right, you know? Other than, I mean, I guess because the dip in the middle of the breast, you know, it giving them more natural. Because you know how some of these restaurants, they be having all perfect patties and all this shit. Like, man, come on. It's like they chop up the chicken and make a perfect patty for them. Like, nah, like this real cut chicken, like if it bubble up when you cook it, you know, it might sprinkle a little bit. That's what it's giving me. It's giving me a natural chicken breast patty that's been seasoned and probably like seared in a pan or baked. But it, I don't, it is not fried. It's not giving me fried sandwich. It's giving me pan seared or baked chicken. And it's very juicy. It ain't dry. It's not dry at all. And I ain't gonna lie. I did get some mashed potatoes with this. But on the way home, I got a little hungry. And I dipped my biscuit in the mashed potatoes. If anybody have ever done that, look, I'll show y'all the, um, the residue. Still got a lot of a little piece of biscuit in the corner. I threw them potatoes up. I got a little hungry. I couldn't wait. I was like, the main attraction is the sandwich. So, ain't nobody come see no damn potatoes. I can eat these and the biscuit. But the sandwich is what you come for. And the sandwich is what you're going to get. You know, your girl always deliver when I get deliver. But I was hungry, people. Please do not be mad. You know what I'm saying? That's me the sandwich. I give it like a an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. But I'm gonna do something I ain't seen nobody do before. I'm gonna try it with some honey on it. Just to see, because I got the spicy version. I wanna see if it's gonna give me a sweet and spicy type of ordeal, you feel me? I'm just putting <laughs> I just started daydreaming for a second while I'm drizzling this honey on this sandwich, bro. I tripped out for a second. Like, come back. Now, let me see what this sandwich you know with this honey on it. I hope it's good, though. I knew it was going to be good. <clears throat> and it's busting. Man, this is so much the honey. something about this honey man oh that's the one there you go little girl <laughs> there you go this is the one how you know I balance it out I'm talking with my mouthful it balances it out you feel me Cause I ain't gonna lie, I got a little kick to it. But that honey, that honey just, man, making that sweet heat. It's sweet tea, by the way. Papa I got some good sweet tea. I don't care what nobody say. A lot of people don't like sweet tea. But guess what? I'm from Louisiana, and I love sweet tea. I drink a sweet tea over any type of drink of the day. 
Sweet tea and lemonade is my thing. Like, real talk. And I know a lot of people who don't like sweet tea. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? But I have to understand, you know, people got different taste buds. Everybody do their own thing. Ain't no judgment here. But don't judge me because I like sweet tea. I don't like sweet tea. Ugh, that's nasty. Like, who asked you? <laughs> like, I get mad when people say, why I drink sweet tea? Like, why you, why you gotta do that? I don't come in your room and ask you why you eating what you eating. Do I? Leave me alone. Let me let me drink my sweet tea. Cause what? Eat? See what I'm saying? What eating got to do with sweet tea? I don't know, man. I just be rambling. And y'all, I be trying so hard. A lot of people say I talk fast. I've been trying to practice slowing down my talk. You know what I'm saying? And really just articulate my words the way I need them to be articulated. But I'm just naturally, I just naturally talk like me, you know, and I got to practice the slow down technique. And, but I don't know. I feel like I talk fast because I got a lot on my mind. <laughs> and if I don't say it real fast, I might forget what I'm trying to say half the time. And I be tripping. Man, your girl got to chill out, man. <laughs> but we all going through some stuff. You feel me? We all growing. And we going to learn from each other. And we going to do this together. You know what I'm saying? Because... I like sharing with y'all. I like doing videos. I like people watching me. Like, it's like you get to be yourself without the pressure of everybody watching you at one time. Like, I'm literally recording the videos, but then, and then a lot of people can watch me. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just something just so enjoyable about that. It's just some so, for lack of better words, it's just something i've always wanted to do i've always wanted to be on tv i've always wanted to be i always knew i was different you know even when i was kid when i was a kid man i used to imagine like being on tv and going up on stages and talking to people and with nobody even there you feel me so i've always knew that my destiny is not to be working for nobody and being on nobody clock and somebody you know taking my time so it took me a minute to find the courage to even do YouTube. I've been wanting to do YouTube since like 2016, 17. But I didn't really know myself at the time. I was still trying to grow. I was still trying to find that confidence to even put myself on the internet. Because I know how people and, you know, people can be cruel and people can be rude. And, you know, sometimes hurt people try to hurt people. So when they don't have that confidence in themselves, they'll tear you down for trying to find the confidence in yourself. And then that'll make you shut down. And, you know, it, it's just messed up. But as I've been growing over these last couple of years and I've really been on my motivational stuff, you know, someone told me something that was very powerful and it hit me very, very hard. And, you know, I just, I just said, I'm finna do it. It says... You know, to be successful, you know, you got to get out your comfort zone. Success is not in your comfort zone. So, while you waiting to follow your dreams and do what you want to do for the perfect time, there's no such thing. Because you can't wait to do something to be great. You have to do something to be great. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be great to start your dream. But to follow your dreams, you know, you're going to be great. You know, it's going to be great. You know what I'm saying? If, if I'm saying this right, I know what I mean. If y'all get what I'm saying, you don't have to be great to start. But to be great, you have to start. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get into a what if, what if. You know, it's just trial and error. You cannot get to the top without failure. This, this just don't make no sense. Like, you, is, you learn from your mistakes and you get better. You keep going. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I know I don't be in these videos properly all the time. I know I can slow down talk. I know it's a lot of things I can improve, you know, from my topic, my videos, the way I edit, all that. It's going to get better. Trust me. Trust me. From when I first started these videos to what I'm doing now, it's like growth. And from when I started from zero subscribers to almost 500 subscribers, it's growth. And I'm growing. And thanks to y'all for who who hit that subscribe button and really support and like and really 
just help me out man that means so much y'all don't know what it mean if i can just get one subscriber different i'll be waking up like i got a million of them and that's just how i'm gonna keep going you feel me i'm gonna keep going every subscriber and every person that hit the subscribe button I, it's like a million subscribers to me i love y'all so much for real so until next time you feel me Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go on like this video. Because, man, your girl just starting. Your girl is not finished yet. You know, we just getting into it. So, man, till next time, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Ah.